Hello friends, welcome back to Blockbytes. In the last video, I covered a new narrative called parallel EVM that has taken crypto X by storm. Uh, one of the top projects in this area, say, is being discussed on social media as the Solana killer. But is it? In this video, I will present my point of view on this matter. Let me briefly describe say, but I recommend watching my previous video for more details. Say is a new layer one blockchain that works on a parallel version of the Ethereum virtual machine. The existing EVM which Ethereum is using processes transactions serially or one at a time. And that is one of the main reasons for its slow transaction speed. A parallel EVM processes multiple transactions simultaneously, drastically improving the blockchain's transaction speed. Say has recorded a maximum of 20,000 transactions per second, much better than Ethereum. Uh, now let's compare Say with Solana. We cannot compare Solana, a protocol that has been around for a while with Say, which was launched just last year based on the usual metrics like TVL, daily active users, developer activity, and others, because Solana will be the clear winner here. Hence, the only fair way to do this is to compare the characteristics of the two protocols. Here I have taken the processing speed, transaction fees, purpose, and programming language as the characteristics. The first metric is processing speed. Since both chains have prioritized speed, which leads to scalability in the blockchain trilemma, this is an apparent first area of comparison. In this area, there are different parameters to consider. First is the throughput measured in transactions per second or TPS. And the second is the time to finality measured in milliseconds or seconds. Um, I would not say I am comparing chains um, uh, based on TPS uh, on no standard definition of TPS. So they present their TPS numbers based on what they count as transactions. And even here, you can see that say does not say transactions per second, but operations per second. Now, is this an apples to apples comparison? Not too sure. Uh, but let's compare the throughput uh, of both the, uh, the protocols. It is clear that Solana is the winner here. Uh, there is no comparison in the TPS numbers with Fire Dancer releasing sometime this year. It is important to note that the 1 million plus TPS with Fire Dancer was achieved during testing. So that will be a new theoretical maximum. The time to finality is the time the ledger takes to update itself with the transactions. And since it means the same irrespective of the blockchain, we can actually compare these numbers. Both protocols have similar values for time to finality. And so overall for processing speed, Solana is the clear winner. Next, let's move on to purpose. Um, now, there is a reason why I added this as a parameter. While researching, say, for my previous video, I read for, at several different websites that say was created for a particular purpose, to emulate high-frequency trading on blockchains. So if that is true, say cannot be compared with Solana, which is a general-purpose blockchain. So it does not restrict itself to one niche or particular use case. But in reality, say is a general purpose blockchain too. One needs to look at the different dApps already on its mainnet, uh, which has applications related to gaming, real world assets, NFTs and more. So although say started as a niche, it is a general purpose blockchain now. And so on this parameter, Solana and Say are at par. Transaction fees. Solana is one of the cheapest public blockchains to transact on. 
the average transaction cost according to SoulScan at the time of recording this video was a mere fraction of a cent. On the other hand, I could not find such information for say, so I had to pull up a few transaction details to get this. Most transactions cost 0.01 say tokens, which if calculated at the current price of say, comes out to be a hundred times more than Solana, but it is still quite cheap. On the subject of transaction fees, Clearly, Solana is a much cheaper blockchain. And finally, programming language. I would like to know if Solana and Say use the same programming language or if they are drastically different. The reason for having this parameter was to gauge if developers would find it easy to work on Say or Solana. I, I knew Solana is primarily made in Rust, but needed to learn about Say. So here is what I found from GitHub. While Solana uses Rust primarily, Say uses TypeScript, uh, which, uh, which is an entirely different programming language. Uh, I do not want to make the mistake of reading too much into this. However, the only thing that pops out for me is that TypeScript is a much more popular language than Rust. Meaning, in theory, say should have less of a hassle finding talent. Also, the ecosystem of integrations and plugins for TypeScript is probably much more robust than Rust. Again, making it easier for programmers to use. So for this, say gets the point. Okay, so let's look at the final tabulation. Uh, and the winner is Sulana. Solana has better tech and is more generalized than say. At the same time, it is not known for being accessible for developers to work on, partly because of its choice of programming language. However, as Anatoly, the co-founder of Solana, said in this unchained discussion, Solana is not trying to be easy for developers but to attract a specific subsection of developers that find Solana their choice of blockchain. Would developers jump ship from Solana to say or any high, other high speed blockchain? Sure, uh, but will that impact Solana? I doubt that. Remember that this differs from Solana versus Ethereum where the two blockchains have a clear demarcation it will be much more difficult for new high-speed chains to make a dent in Solana. For not only the reasons we have just seen, but also the massive moat that Solana enjoys, given that it was the first genuinely high-speed blockchain to arrive at the scene. So in a nutshell, do I think Say is a Solana killer? No. I hope you like this video. Do like and share. And I will see you next time with another fresh bite. Bye.